we'll come back more in the Supreme Court's ruling that states can now force online retailers to charge and collect their state sales taxes from consumers out of state, shoppers out of state. We're going to show how it's affecting the markets in your pocketbook. Taking a hit, online retailers like Wayfair, eBay, Etsy, Overstock, all finishing in the red. Department stores, look at this, a brick and mortar guys, Target, Nordstrom, JCPenney, Kohl's, Dillard's, they are in the green. Helps them. Shopping center REITs also trading higher. These are the shopping mall guys. Let's bring in the panel, Kadena Group President Gary B. Smith, and look who's here, stock swoosh owner, <laughs> Melissa Armo. Gary B., what's your reaction? Well, I think people are getting way too excited that these brick-and-mortar retailers are going to come back and make a resurgence. I don't think that's ever been their problem, or at least hasn't been their problem since basically the dawn of the Internet. I think it's all about convenience. On the flip side, this is obviously another big government land grab where they hope to increase their coffers. They don't care about consumers. They only care about increasing their budgets. You know, President Trump said, oh, this is a win for consumers. Still scratching my head trying to figure out how. Yeah, what do you think, Melissa? I think these states are really desperate to collect more money in their coffers. I, like, I'm from Pennsylvania. I live in New York now. But last year in 2017, 43,000 notices were sent out for people who filed the returns to try to deny deductions. The state is desperate to collect taxes. And that was a record number for the state of Pennsylvania. These states are hurting, in New York even. Even all the taxes we pay. So what's going to happen? They're going to keep spending. Instead of, instead of taking control of the budgets, which is what these states should do, who are in yeah. debt and need money coming in. Now they're going to say, oh, we're going to get all this tax money in. Truth be told, we should have all been paying it anyways. And to be fair, the brick and mortars and the online people both should have been paying the same, but ultimately consumers are going to end up paying more. Yeah, so I'm not happy about the, it yeah, you know, hear, as a shopper. I hear what you're saying. Gary B., what if you're an internet retailer with a presence in a high tax state like California and New York? What do you do? Well, I, you know, if you're big enough like Amazon and you're selling your own goods, you're already paying the taxes. Amazon is. Amazon They're not is, paying yeah. taxes in, in general for the, the third party goods they sell. So if you're a smaller online retailer, you're going to you better be, make some entrees to Amazon to be bought out because you're really going to suffer just the paperwork alone and trying to figure out how to pay these taxes, which, by the way, is obviously not in the Supreme Court's ruling, is going to be burdensome. So it's going to be like health care all over again, where the small guy can't figure out how to do it eventually goes point. out of business. You know, you may want to buy stock in H&R Block. I'm kidding. But, you know, you know, to Gary B's point, Melissa, I mean, there are 10,000 separate taxing jurisdictions across the country. That's what the, the little guy is going to have to deal with, right? I know, and I'm surprised, actually, that Trump supported this passing because, really, he's been looking out for the little guy. So as far as small businesses, just like Gary said, this really isn't good for the little guy. It's not going to hurt Amazon. Gonna affect the cons how is it going to affect our wallets, our pocketbook? As far as people's shopping habits, I don't think they will change. In other words, if you love to shop online on your phone or your computer, you're going to continue to do that, and you're just going to pay the tax because it's the convenience. You're paying for the convenience. You might buy one less item because mm. of the tax of the cost of it, but you're not going to stop shopping online. People are not going to stop using Amazon. It's going to affect the smaller yeah. businesses, just like Gary was saying, and that's the problem. I don't think it's. I don't think consumer spending is going to go down as a result of this. People are going to spend what they're going to spend. What do you think, Gary B? I, I agree. Let's just say it's a hundred dollar item for uh, from Amazon, and it goes up uh, uh, six dollars. So now it's one hundred and six dollars. I'll tell you what. As an Amazon Prime customer, which more and more of us are, I'd still spend the extra six dollars not to <laughs> have to get in the car yeah. and go to the you know the shopping center it's park. True. I'll do okay. all that stuff. It's still worth right. it to me. Gary B and Melissa, we love having you on. Come back soon, guys. Thanks. We're gonna be right back after the break with more. Don't go away. <laughs>